The FBI and Department of Homeland Security now involved in the investigation of a deadly apartment explosion in Beaver Dam. Kristen Byrne has been following this story since it broke yesterday on Live at 6. She joins us now with the very latest. Kristen. Last check, the body of this 28 year old man that was found inside this Village Glen apartment unit uh, is still in that unit. So the explosion happened and the reason why the body remains there, according to officials, is just too dangerous to go inside. So that's because Beaver Dam police came across what they call, quote, unstable chemicals. They're trying to identify those chemicals. They also found bomb making devices and everyone who lived in this building and others nearby had to evacuate yesterday and they haven't been able to go back home. I slept on the couch or on my son's couch, I should say, with the dog last night. So that's not my idea of a good night's sleep. All right, so police have not identified the man who died, and they can't say for sure that man is indeed the man who rents this apartment. As far as when folks can go back into the building, that's still unclear. We learned that this building is not in good shape. There's no water, there's no electricity. Uh, structurally, too, it doesn't seem like it's structurally sound. So a lot of people are staying with their friends, their family, or at local hotels. And by the way, in the last couple minutes, we did see a robot that was stationed outside this unit, possibly used to go inside and help with this investigation. We're live in Beaver Dam. Kristen Burt, today's TMJ4. Kristen, thanks.